What is up and welcome to yet another awesome tutorial series. This series is going to be covering WX Python. So what is WX Python? WX Python is a cross-platform toolkit used for making GUIs or graphical user interfaces. Uh, this is done so the end user doesn't actually have to communicate with the Python interpreter window, right? So, so nobody wants to like develop programs and have to deal with like this or like a DOS, you know, prompt. Um, it's just a plain, more user-friendly way uh, to make programs and have users use those programs. Um, WX Python itself is actually just kind of like a wrapper around uh, the language C++. Now, what that means is WX Python itself is not actually coded directly in Python. Uh, instead, it's more of like a Python interpreter, kind of like you have a Python interpreter that you installed on your system because your computer didn't naturally understand Python. So the main purpose with WX Python is, of course, to create Windows-looking windows, or as they're called in WX Python in programming, frames. So with WX Python, you can make all kinds of things like regular windows, toolbars, scroll bars, dialogs, pop-ups, buttons, etc. And then also all these things like you can use uh, what are called event handlers. So like if a user clicks a button, it does this, or clicks the window, it does this. So you can do all kinds of really cool things uh, with these windows. So to get uh, WX Python and start coding, you're going to have to visit uh, wxpython.org, which I've pulled up here. And you'll want to scroll down to download. Let's see if I can find it myself. Download. And you want the stable version, not the development version. So we'll click that. And here we go. And this is going to be the one that I want here, which is Python 2.8. I want the 32-bit version. Uh, to match my Python, you should pick whatever uh, version of Python you have, however. So I'll just click that and we'll download the uh, installer here. And here it comes now. We'll just I'll pause the video while we wait for this to come in. Once it's done, obviously it's a download, so you just click it to open that up. And you'll just go ahead and hit run there. And here we go with the installer next. I'll accept. This just says where it's going to install it next. Uh, this is just to make the, uh, yeah, it's, we'll just go next. And so now it's going to install WX Python on my machine and your machine. We'll do that at least. Uh, all right. And it's over here just fixing up some of the files for us. And now uh, to make sure, let's test the installation. So we'll restart our Python interpreter, bring it over here and say import wx. And as long as it doesn't yell at us, looks like we did it right. All right, so now we're back to the uh, typical Python idle. Um, and so that concludes pretty much the installation. But again, uh, just like my NLTK tutorial, I feel bad making the first video being only the installation. So let's make uh, our first window at WX Python. So of course to use WX Python you'll need to import WX. Subsequently now we're going to start uh, defining things uh, that we want our window to do. Alright, the next thing we're going to want to do is define uh, app and every WX Python must have this. Um, so that's just going to be WX.app. The next thing that we're going to do is we actually have to make the window, or as I referred to it earlier, the frame. So we're just going to call it frame equals wx.frame. Uh, and then within the parameters, you have a few different things to call now. Uh, we're just going to say the parameters within here, we're just going to say none, negative one. And then we'll put the title of this frame, kind of like this has a title, which is basically the name of the script and then the location of the script. You can put this anything you want. So we're going to say uh, this is the window title. We'll just put that in there. You can call it whatever the heck you want to call it though. And basically what we're saying within these parameters here, we can go into detail of them later, but um, basically the frame is a widget and what we're saying here is this is the uh, parent widget for any other widgets. So basically when we, when you say none there, it just means that like it's a parent widget itself. So kind of like the uh, graphing tutorials that I've got, if you've been watching those, 
once you actually like define something, all we've done is defined it. We haven't actually called it up. Uh, so the next thing you want to do is call it to show, and that's just frame dot show. And then finally, uh, we'll just make this line here uh, app dot main loop. And all this does is just kind of enter us into like a main loop. So everything that happens uh, during the event of like this window is going to be captured. But again, we'll go more into that later. So we'll just save this and we'll run it. And up pops our little window here. And as you can see, we've got window title. And um, but that's it. There's nothing in here. Eventually, we're going to have, you know, menu items, maybe something in here and we'll do some cooler stuff. But for now, this is what we have, just a window title. But already, this is pretty darn impressive because uh, there's all kinds of things to it. You've got just your, you know, even just the title, you got the little image here. You can move it around on your screen. You can resize it. You do all these things that even though like this is such a stupid little window that doesn't actually give us any utility, um, it's actually a lot of coding behind even just this window. So pretty cool that we've already coded this window. So that's going to conclude this tutorial. Um, stay tuned for more tutorials on WX Python. There's a lot of cool things that you can do within here. And it's kind of enjoyable because there's a lot of customization that you can do along the way. So um, stay tuned and thanks for watching.